Yeah, good you. Good girl. Good boy. In this episode, we're going after some early season roosters. You know, it's been a couple years since I've pheasant hunted, so I was excited to get back out there. But this time, I wanted to go someplace new, and maybe a little bit off the beaten path. So I did some e-scouting, dropped some pins, and gave it a shot. I arrived in the afternoon with just enough time to do a little scouting and hit a spot before sunset. I get Tubbs out of the box, and he doesn't waste any time getting us our first rooster. Hell yes, Tubby. Not bad, buddy. Good boy, bud. Glad that thing clucked. Good boy, Tubby. Bring him here. Good boy. Here. Come here. Yeah, all right, please. I got him. I, I got him. Ba, 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 ba. I got him. <laughs> well, <laughs> that didn't take long. The truck's right there. <laughs> Tubbs comes out here and freaking sticks one. Oh, look at that. This is why everybody loves pheasant hunting. Look at this beautiful thing. And this is obviously a very young bird. Only just really getting colored out. Sure is pretty. All right, well, it's gonna be hard to top that start. Hey buddy, hey buddy, easy. Easy buddy, easy. Now Tubbs is on point just inside these willows, but I don't quite get a shot at this one. Oh, that had to be a rooster. That was huge. It was. Good boy, buddy. No bird. I could just tell by the sound that was a freaking rooster. Good ratio so far. Now Tubbs is on point well over to my left, but the rooster gets up right in front of me. I had to shoot through the trees on this one, so I wasn't sure how well this one was hit. Tubbs, dead bird, dead bird, dead bird, Tubby. Dead bird right here. I'm trying to dead get bird. him on the track as dead quick bird. as possible. Dead bird. Dead bird. Dead bird. He's running. He's on it. Dead bird. Dead bird, fetch. Dead bird. <laughs> Yeah, my boy gets him every time. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Stay with him, buddy. <laughs> Good. Tommy, get him. Shit, that thing. <laughs> Good boy, Tubby. That was brutal. Good boy, buddy. Good boy. Good boy, bud. All right, Luce. I got him. Good Lord. Oh no, we lost his tail feathers. <laughs> That's all right, better than losing the bird. Oh my goodness. He nailed him, better. Good job, buddy. That was some freaking work right there. All right, if you don't like to hear people brag about the dogs, you might want to skip forward a little bit. <laughs> I just got to give Tubby his props. We've been out of the truck for, I don't know, 30 minutes. The reason I'm stopping to soak this in is because Tubbs is six years old. He's in the middle of his prime and on point. Uh, you know, when, when a dog is in this sweet spot where they can do everything physically, uh, but yet they've got tons of experience, it's just... It's a beautiful thing to watch. It's a beautiful thing to behold. And uh, I'm, I'm, I feel fortunate that I get to watch it. 
By the way, like I said, he's on point. Let's go see what he's got. Tubs on point at 242. Most of the time when I have a dog on point at almost 250 yards on pheasant, I don't have high hopes. He's drinking. I made it to him and he's still on point. Now I have to find him. Three feet. Okay. Says I'm three feet away from him. And I can't see him. This is amazing. Oh, he's right here. <laughs> you got him, buddy? I would love for this to be a big old rooster. Wow! <laughs> no freaking way! Oh, I hope the camera was on because that was freaking gorgeous. I was in here stomping around looking for him for like a minute and a half. And that bird just sat there. And he just sat there. <laughs> as I'm like fumbling around like 10 feet away from him. <laughs> Bring it in here, Tubby. Good boy. Here comes my man who always gets my bird. Good boy, buddy. Hey, come here. Show everybody what you got. Come here, big man. Oh my goodness. Look at that thing. That's good boy, Tubby. <laughs> you know something I talk about a lot with people. If you hear me rambling on a podcast or something, you might hear me say it. So I've said it before, but when I'm out here, I'm basically chasing moments. I'm I'm looking for those magical little moments when you know a couple special things, a couple special circumstances come through and you have a little bit of magic happen. And that right there, that right there was a little moment. That was a little moment of magic. And that is exactly the feeling that I chase every fall when I'm out here with the bird dogs. I freaking love it. It's so cool. This will be our first morning hunt out here. Um, you know, just really just trying to scout, uh, kind of feel things out, see where the birds are wanting to hang out. Um, since it's pretty early season, a lot of crops in still. Um, so that's gonna be a big factor. Um, the reason I picked this spot this morning is because it has some picked corn around it, um, which most of the corn here is still in. So that might help things a little bit, push the birds out in the cover a little bit more, keep them on the edges possibly. So. Anyways, we're just going to do some exploring today, see if we can't start figuring it out. All right, let's go get him. So I've got my girl Twig out here. And while I was sitting waiting for shooting hours, I heard some birds in this particular piece of cover that looked like it would be pretty good roosting cover. So we started over there. Ah. So she pointed a hen there, and as I was getting ready to turn the camera off, I noticed she went on point again. Oh, again. Right here. Easy. Oh, here we go. That one didn't want to wait for us. So at first I thought that bird in the distance was her bird, but then I realized she's not wanting to move ahead. Good girl, Twiggles. Good girl, baby. Good girl, Twig. Twig, come here, baby. That's good girl, look at you, good girl. Good job, good job. Yeah, good job, baby. 
<laughs> Took you five minutes. <laughs> oh my gosh. She gets another one pointed here, but it doesn't want to play ball. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. You definitely can't see her, but she's on point in the middle of this willow thicket. <laughs> Good girl, Twiggles. Good girl, baby. Dead bird. What a good girl, good girl, good job, baby, good job. Good girl, that's a good girl, look what you got. Yeah, look what you got. Good girl. <laughs> All right, that was pretty cool. Um, you know, we hadn't seen a bird for, uh, I don't know, a good half mile. It's been a while since we've seen one. And, um, but anyways, I had, when I was looking at Onyx, I had seen this kind of changing cover right here. And uh, I wasn't sure exactly what it was, but I thought it might be these willows. And sure enough, we get back here and it is. So just goes to show you, it's always good to, you know, do a little pre-scouting, but then, you know, don't be afraid to just walk through some cover that's, you know, kind of marginal uh, to get to something back in the back that might be kind of good. So it was holding one rooster anyways, and, and I sure enjoyed it. You did a good job, baby. Yeah, you sure did. Yes, you did. Okay, on this hunt, I've got my old girl CC out. And we work this piece for a good while, and we get a few wild flushes now and then. But then I get a signal she's on point about 160 yards away. It's taken me a little while to get up here because the cover's pretty thick. Good girl. Good girl, CC. Had a girl. Good job, baby. Good girl. All right, look at you. Good girl. All right, yeah. Good job, baby. <laughs> Good work, old girl. I know CC was moving there right as that bird came up, but what you're not gonna see on camera is that the wind was directly at her back. And she had been on point for a few minutes. Uh, she went on point at 160 yards from me, so it took me a while to meander through this cover to get over here to her. So she did plenty of dog work to deserve that one. Figured that was gonna be a hen. Good girl, honey, good girl. No bird. These days, whenever I'm hunting CC, I always try to kind of take my time and soak it in a little bit. You know, she's 11 years old now and uh, she's definitely slowing down. And, you know, there aren't that many of these hunts left. And so I always try to take my time and just kind of enjoy it and soak it in. Okay, CC's tracking her rooster here. And she's already pointed a couple times, but she makes one more adjustment here and gets him locked down. Wow! Freaking gorgeous! Oh my god, that was so good. Woo! Hello, hen. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous, baby. Good girl, honey. Loose. Thank you, baby. <laughs> oh, CC girl. You nailed it, baby. Absolutely nailed him. Oh, he's got a little got a little spur to him. Good job, baby. Good girl. Good girl, darling. That was awesome. I loved it. Oh man, she tracked that for a good ways and then absolutely stuck him. 
Awesome. All right, I think we're ready. Okay, okay, we'll get them. Okay, this time I put tubs down and we go out for a little end of the day golden hour hunt. I didn't hit this bird very hard, but as always, Tub stayed with him. This turns into a pretty epic track. It was probably 350, 400 yards at least, and it was across a creek and lots of thick cover, all kinds of stuff. I catch a glimpse of it pretty far away here, but I try to put some more pellets in it. Ooh. He's going to have to flat out run this thing down because it is moving. This is all over the boot. Oh, we got him. You got him. Good boy, Tubby. Good boy, buddy. Good boy, buddy. He got him. Tubby here. Tubby here. Come here, bud. Good boy. Good job, buddy. Good job. All right, Luce. Good boy. <laughs> that was freaking awesome. He was just barely hit. <laughs> and I was getting ready to come out here for this walk, and, and uh, I was like, well, maybe I should put some more shells in my pouch, but I was like, ah, haven't missed a shot yet, so I should be fine on shells. Well, even as I was thinking it, I was like, I'm jinxing myself. But anyways, luckily I had tubs on the case and uh, he always comes up with it. And just like he always does, he got it once again. He's a good man. It's getting close to sunset now. And I get another nice piece of dog work here from Tubbs. As usual, this bird was running, but this time I could actually hear it. Freaking awesome, dude. Freaking awesome. Great job, buddy. Good boy. Good boy. All right, Liz. Good job, buddy. Good job. Excellent work. Pretty nice way to end our day right there. You know, we've been hunting in here, and, and this cover is really noisy. It's There's a lot of really dry kind of twiggies type cover that makes a lot of snaps and a lot of noise when you walk through it and I was thinking god I'm not gonna be able to sneak up on a bird for anything well it goes both ways I was actually able to hear that bird running up ahead of him and that's why I knew right where it was I'm bad my man good job buddy Okay, it's our final morning hunt here, and I've got tubs out, and the wind has come up quite a bit, and so a lot of times that makes the birds a little jumpy, so I wasn't sure what to expect, but we still got tons of great dog work. It was a bird. Boom. Right there. Good boy, buddy. Okay, now we're back in some of that thick, crunchy stuff that they like. I got tubs on point in here somewhere.
<laughs> Tubby! Woo! Well, if that wasn't gorgeous, I don't know what is. Good boy, buddy. Good job. All right, Luce. Good boy. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous. Good job, buddy. Boom. Just slightly farther than I like to shoot. I'm being very picky about my shot selection. Um, the hunting is good enough that I can do that. And that's, it's a luxury and it's really nice. Little hand. Good boy, buddy. Where's that rooster at? Okay, Tubby's on point again here. And this bird definitely seems like it's running on him. One last relocation here, and he gets him locked down. Damn, that was freaking awesome. Tracked and locked by the Tubmeister. Wow. Oh my gosh. Good boy, buddy. Good boy, buddy. Good boy. Good boy, buddy. Good job, buddy. Okay, okay, loose, loose. Good man, good man. Whew. Come on now. It doesn't get a whole lot better than that. Just stop it. Absolutely gorgeous. Well, that turned out to be a fantastic hunt. You know, it's been a couple years since I had hunted pheasant and they're not always at the top of my list. But if pheasant hunting was like this all the time, I would go a lot more often. Because we had great weather, the birds cooperated for the most part, and I got to see tons of great dog work, which is always at the top of my list. So you put all that together, and it made for some great hunting and a nice way to spend a few days. I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. If you'd like more content, you ought to check out my Patreon page where I post videos on other subjects like gear, truck camping, dog training, and anything else we can think of that might be helpful for the traveling bird hunter. You can find it at patreon.com backslash Eric Forster or just click the link in the description.